Have you ever dreamt of staying in a castle, a palace or a monastery? Join us in the video in which we talk about a very traditional type of accommodation in Spain that allows you to make that dream come true, the Paradores. Que tal? Hello, I am Tony Galvez from Road Trip Spain and Portugal, where we help you plan the perfect trip with practical information and insider tips. Paradores, formerly Paradores Nacionales, today simply Paradores, are a network of Spanish public hotels. The company Paradores de Turismo de España is 100% publicly owned. Paradores usually occupy buildings of special historical, artistic or cultural interest. In fact, 30 Paradores occupy listed buildings in Spain. The first Parador opened in 1928 and there are currently almost a hundred, including just the one Parador in Portugal. Depending on the services they offer, Paradors can be classified as three, four or five star hotels. Some Paradors are located within cities, others are located on the outskirts of the cities and finally there are a good number of Paradors in the middle of nature. In terms of style, there are three very different types of Paradors. Firstly, there are the modern Paradors. They do not occupy a historic building and usually compensate for their lack of charm in terms of centuries-old stones with an extraordinary location. For instance, in Salamanca, the modern Parador overlooks the cathedral and the historic center. In Cadiz, the Parador occupies a very modern building with views of the sea and the city's sunset. In Malaga, the Parador is is high up with views of the city from the heights of Gibraltar Castle. In Ronda, the Parador is on the edge of the incredible rift known as the El Tajo. In Granada, the Parador could not have a more exquisite location inside the Alhambra. Toledo is probably the best example. Opened in 1968, the Parador lacks historic architecture and is not located in the city center, but it has some of the most wonderful views of Toledo, unobstructed by day and night. A second group would be the Paradors that occupy historic buildings, which can be palaces, castles, monasteries and convents. This is where you will find the most extraordinary examples of Paradors and where you will probably want to stay. These are the ones we will mainly focus in this video. Finally, there are a small number of Paradors that combine the two previous criteria. Very modern Paradors built in perfect harmony within a historic building. And in this video we will talk about one of the most beautiful in this category because we stayed there. To prepare this video we chose to stay in three Paradors. The main criteria we applied in their selection was that of time travel. And as you know, if you are a regular on the channel, we stayed in all the Paradors anonymously, paying all the expenses out of our own pocket. The first Parador we visited was the Parador de Olite, a three-star hotel located in the small town of Olite in the region of Navarra, in the northern half of Spain. The Parador occupies the oldest part of the majestic Palace of the Kings of Navarre, a part known as Palacio Viejo or Palacio de los Teobaldos. The palace, come castle in Gothic style, was built between the 13th and 14th centuries and remodeled in the 15th century. The Parador opened in 1966. Of the former royal palace, only the outer walls and towers remain. The interior has been renovated and contains all kinds of details such as armor, chandeliers and carpets with the intention of transporting guests back to medieval times. The rooms are simple and comfortable, with a rustic feel, period furniture and a good bed. The bathroom is modern. We visited the Parador on a cold autumn day and the heating, both in the rooms and in the common areas, was working so that we didn't feel the cold from the street. Breakfast is served in a spacious and beautiful room. It is a combination of buffet breakfast and a la carte breakfast, and you can order a wide variety of hot dishes made to order, including typical local dishes such as 
cheese torras, a typical sausage from the region. You should be aware that the price of breakfast served in the Paradors is quite expensive. If you visit Olite, you cannot miss the extensive complex of the Royal Palace of Olite, of which the Parador forms part. It is one of the most incredible castles you can visit in Spain. You can visit the castle on your own, with an audio guide, or as part of a guided tour. The tourist office of Olite is right in front of the Parador. We thoroughly enjoyed our stay at the Parador de Olite and our visit to the charming little town of Olite, which we highly recommend. On our second visit, we went back several centuries in time. We stayed at the Parador de Sigüenza, a four-star hotel perched high above a beautiful village in Castilla-La Mancha, 140 kilometers northeast of Madrid. On the day we arrived, a heavy fog added a touch of mystery to the Parador. The Parador de Sigüenza occupies an impressive 12th century medieval castle. The Castillo de los Obispos de Sigüenza, the castle of the bishops of Sigüenza, built over an 8th century Moorish fortress, which in turn was built over a Roman settlement. Many centuries of history in one place where bishops, cardinals and kings stayed. The Parador opened in 1976 after a long restoration and reconstruction. Its interior recreates the medieval atmosphere of the time when the bishops and their court lived in the castle. You will find stone walls, period furniture and armor. Strolling inside the castle Parador is great fun, even after learning about the legend of the ghost that inhabits the hotel. A 13th century Romanesque chapel is the best preserved part of the old castle. As in the Parador de Olite, the rooms are rustic in style, with traditional furniture and modern features such as a large TV and a mini bar. The bathroom is modern. And also as in the Olite Parador, although it was a cold day, the heat Eating worked very well inside the Parador. We did not have breakfast at the Parador in Sigüenza, which is served in a very nice hall, but we did visit the Parador's cafeteria, which also occupies a very nice space, where we had the pleasure of tasting a delicious platter with cheese and cured meats from the region, which we highly recommend. We really enjoyed our stay at the Parador de Sigüenza and the feeling of being in a very special place. The third Parador where we stayed was the Parador de Alcalá de Henares, another four-star hotel which falls in the category we mentioned before of modern Parador in a contest of historic buildings. It opened in 2009 and occupies the space of three 17th century convent colleges. If you have seen our video about Alcalá de Henares, if you haven't, don't miss it. You should know that the city was declared a World Heritage Site by UNESCO for being the first example of a planned university city. When Paradores decided to refurbish several of the university colleges in a state of complete abandonment, in addition to being colleges, they had been a correctional institution and a prison, they had to solve the problem of how to build a modern Parador that respected the historical context and without raising the roof of the buildings above the street level, because UNESCO would not like it one bit. The solution was to build the rooms below street level with the absolutely spectacular Jardín Tallado, the carved garden, where the modern rooms of the Parador are located. So the new Parador is hidden under the convent's old orchard. The magic of the carved garden allows the rooms to enjoy natural light, privacy and views of the beautiful garden. The result is an incredible combination of history and modernity, a historic building with rooms that have all the comforts and conveniences of a very modern hotel. We have seen that the Paradors opened in the 20th century, located in old castles or palaces, like the ones in Olite and Sigüenza, have rooms in an older and more basic style. Here in Alcala, it is quite the opposite. The Parador is history, the rooms are modern and comfortable. A spacious rooms with light colors, a spectacular bathroom, a huge wardrobe, plus super comfortable beds. At the Parador in Alcala, we also tried the local breakfast, served in a very nice modern room. As usual in Paradors, it combines a buffet service with a list of freshly prepared dishes. Although it is a delicious experience, don't feel obliged to have your coffee at the Parador, as the prices, as mentioned earlier, are high. We wanted to try it so we could tell you about the experience. 
that was our recent experience at three hotels in the Paradores chain. We loved each one of them. As a hotel, Olite was the most basic, but it made up for it with the extraordinary beauty of the Palace of the Kings of Navarre. If you want to stay in a castle, the Parador in Siguenza will not disappoint. And as far as hotels go, the Parador de Alcalá was our favorite, one of the best hotels in Spain we have stayed in, and an incredible architectural project. Now, in the final part of the video, we are going to do a quick review of Paradors in almost every corner of Spain for you who are looking for a special place for your trip. Let's take a look at the map. First, we look at the location of the three Paradors we have already talked about, Olite, Sigüenza, and Alcalá. And we continue with our recommendations. The Parador de Bayona in Galicia has a spectacular seafront location in the Rías Baixas region, in an old castle palace. The Parador de Santiago de Compostela in Galicia, it is one of the jewels in the crown of the Parador network and is considered the oldest hotel in Spain. The Parador de Santo Estevo, also in Galicia, occupies an old Benedictine monastery in the middle of nature, in the spectacular Ribeira Sacra region. The Parador de Monforte de Lemos in Galicia occupies a neoclassical convent and palace at the top of the city. The Parador de Corias is located in the impressive monastery of San Juan Bautista in Asturias. The Parador de León in Castilla y León is another of the chain's jewels. It occupies the former Hostal de San Marcos, an extraordinary Renaissance monument. The Parador de Lerma in Castilla y León occupies a 17th century palace at the top of the city. The Parador de Zamora, also in Castilla y León, occupies a 15th century Renaissance palace in the center of the city. The Parador de Argomanis in the Basque Country occupies an elegant Renaissance palace with typical elements of Basque architecture. The Parador de Ondarribia, also in the Basque Country, occupies what is known as the Castle of Charles V, a 10th century military fortress. The Parador de Cardona in Catalonia has one of the most spectacular locations in a 9th century medieval fortress on top of a hill. The Parador de Cuenca in Castilla-La Mancha occupies a former 16th century convent with spectacular views of the city of Cuenca. The Parador de Alarcón in Castilla-La Mancha as well has one of those spectacular locations in a 12th century castle. The Parador de Almagro in Castilla-La Mancha occupies a former 17th century Franciscan convent that combines Renaissance and Baroque styles. The Parador de Jarandilla de la Vera in Extremadura occupies a former 16th century castle palace where Emperor Charles V lived for several months. And finally, the Parador de Jaén in Andalusia is located on top of the hill of Santa Catalina, next to a castle and with incredible views of the city. This has been our small selection of Paradors with special charm, but believe us, there are many more. In the description of the video, we have added links to Booking.com, where you can check more details of the Paradors and also the prices for the date of your trip. We hope we have inspired you to choose a different type of accommodation for your next trip to Spain. As always, if you have any questions about the subject of the video, please use the commentary box to ask. Now, if you are planning a trip to Spain, you must be wondering, which are the mistakes I should avoid? Well, on the video you will see on the screen now, we have put them all together in a single video so we make sure your trip is absolutely perfect. We are going to that video where we are waiting for you from now.